That ball of fire is in the sky behind me again, isn't it? Yep, there it is. There it is. And there's the beast. She's been running pretty good lately. You know, she just had a service last weekend, and I think she's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good? That's good. If she's feeling good, I'm feeling good. That's the way this working relationship goes. So, I'm going to go check her oil, do my pre-trip, and uh, wait to see what today holds. I woke up this morning and I thought to myself, boy, I hope it rains today. What a good day. Okay, that's not true. But it did just start raining. It's quarter to noon already, so uh, I've already been buzzing around a little bit this morning. We're taking a step deck roll tight trailer up to Toulon. That's halfway to Arbor. I'm gonna sneak up there and sneak back without getting in the way of MOT because the uh, safety blitz is on right now and they're inspecting trucks all over the place. So I uh, made sure that this trailer I have here is tip top, as, as tip top as it can be for an older trailer. One of the rollers for the, the curtains had jumped out of the rail. We had to spend half an hour, like five of us guys there trying to get it, uh, trying to get it back on the track. We were successful there, so now I don't think any MOT officer has anything they can they can say on me. We're coming up to that scale. Now what do you think? Is it gonna be a good day? Or is the scale gonna be open? Don't wreck my day guys, come on. Scale open. We're gonna merge onto Highway 7 heading north. And there's, there's no flashing lights. My satellite just told me to pull in if it's open. And as long as those lights don't start flashing before we get past there, it's closed. It's on the right hand side of the white sign. And we're past if they turn them on now, it's not my problem. The scale's closed. There's a lot of MOT officers crawling around there though. Looks like they were setting up, probably setting up for inspections and on the way back, I bet they're going to be open. Come on! Maybe they were just closing up. Maybe they're cleaning up. Looked like they were setting up though. One more day tomorrow and then this blitz week is over. For those of you who aren't in trucking, this week is the week we're all across North America, Canada, US, and Mexico. There's a uh, Increased inspections for truckers everywhere. Everyone's getting inspected. A lot of truckers take this week off. I always wonder why they warn us. Why do you warn the drivers when this blitz is going to happen? Don't warn them because then the guys who are driving rundown equipment, who you know that they don't take care of, they just park it for the week. They, you don't get them. No, no, no. You should blindside us with it. I mean, you're gonna make a lot of truckers angry, but wouldn't that wouldn't that be a better thing to do? I mean, not for us, not for us truckers. We wouldn't like that very much. But I'm giving them terrible ideas. Don't listen to me. Do not listen to me. Shut your ears. It's a bit of a windy day out here. Apparently, it started when I came, so I brought the wind with me. And this is a step deck, which is a bit more of a pain in the butt for uh, rolling these things up. These are a little bit older, I think. They need a little bit of love and care and refurbishing. But it's, it's working. So I rolled it all the way forward. And he's got to load four pieces on me. Let's see where all this freight is going. There was four pieces like that that they loaded on the, the lower part of the step deck. Little side note, the roll tight step decks are not as fun as just the flatbed roll tights. What a mess. You need two people to open and close this. I'd have to show you sometime maybe for, it'd be a whole vlog on itself. 
that how these uh, the rollers got to line up with the, the tracks, and if you miss the track, it falls out, then you got a big problem. Whatever, it was okay, we got it done, they helped me out here. Uh, so one of these is going to Winchester, Kentucky. One is going to Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Another one is going to Louisville, Kentucky. And another one is going to Marion, Indiana. Sounds like a fun trip. tonight yet. Alright, let's see. Are we going to get lucky? Okay, there's cars coming from here right away. Only a bus coming from there, so if we can get a gap in traffic here, big enough how about after this white car look at this I keep telling you how terrible this intersection is and this is twice in a row where I actually uh, pretty impressed you're doing and I'll, 
there's only one way to show you and that's to actually physically show you one of these days i don't know i'll think about it usually i avoid it during that time so i had one last assignment uh to go pick up a gravel trailer and they're just bringing it around now uh, it's on a hutterite colony east of winnipeg and i love com coming to these hutterite colonies because they take such pride in every single thing they own and all of their property Everything looks so nice here. There's not a blade of grass out of place. Oh, and I think he's getting ready to load me. Germanic trailers, quality, nothing but the best. Look at that, going all the way to New Brunswick. Forgive the wind noise again, I'm trying to stay on the side of the trailer that has less wind. So you always want to have opposite forces holding the trailer down. So up front here, I have it pulling forward. We should actually start at the back and that'll explain why. So at the back here, they have these two hooks that I can hook onto. See how I have a bolt strap there? That's to protect the paint from my chains. I have that on that side there as well. Now I'm pulling force, pulling the trailer this way. I'm holding it this way, I'm not actually pulling it. You get what I mean? So these stop the trailer from moving forward, right? So at the front of the trailer here, I have these going the opposite direction to pull it forward. So those are pulling it backwards, these are pulling it forward. That keeps it in place, that stops it from going back and forth. And then I have one more chain in the center here, just to help along, to stop it from bouncing. Always using protection. And you see I got the chain wrapped around the binders here, right? So these binders, they clamp shut and you don't want them to accidentally pop open on the road over a big bump or something because uh, that'll loosen the chain, that'll loosen the load and bad things could happen. So what I do is that when I have excess chain, I wrap it around here and then secure it with a bungee so that it doesn't unravel. That prevents it from opening. It's impossible for this thing to open right now. You can also get clamps, steel clamps that'll clamp it shut, prevent it from opening. You just want to make sure that you put something on there so that they don't accidentally pop open. And I did that for every single one of them. I wrapped the chain tightly around there so that that can't pop open. And this chain is just to stop, just to hold down the center of the trailer, give it more stability and stop this middle part from bouncing. That's pretty much all it's doing is just holding it down. But the chains at the back and the front or we'll keep it in place. There we go. We're all set. The colonies are always down gravel roads usually. They're pretty isolated. They're not too far away. It's only like, what, a half hour from Winnipeg, but... And they're off the main route, for sure. And they're doing very well for themselves. Got their own schools. Their own businesses. And they take such good care of their land. Wow. They would be fantastic landscapers to hire if they would, uh hire themselves out to others. <laughs> Everything's just immaculate. Except for the sign over here that fell over, but I guarantee it. Every, everything here is so immaculate, I guarantee that sign is supposed to be knocked over. They would never 
he wouldn't let it just sit there. <laughs> really good people. Hard working. Alright, let's get back on the main road. I'm gonna take this road for a while. The truck's gonna be all dusty. That nice shiny trailer I just loaded is gonna be all dusty too. It's a shame. Should all get blown off in the wind though once we hit the pavement. Another day complete. Let's go home. Put all my stuff in the mysterious water bottles are back, if you haven't noticed. They come and go. I don't know. They do as they please. 12 hour day today. That's good. It's good. It's been a good couple of weeks. We've been very busy again. <laughs> 